I think the most obvious answer to that is that uh, a promise was made uh, to protect um, people, in particularly in the so-called safe areas, and ultimately uh, we failed, the international community, the United Nations failed to do so with catastrophic consequences. Uh, notwithstanding that the UN for three odd years had relieved humanitarian suffering, had tried to bring the parties together and had sought to contain the conflict. The ultimate test was really whether or not protection had been provided to the population as promised. And I think that's why uh, failure is, is the right word to describe the, the, the end result of the uh, UN peacekeeping operation in Bosnia. Well, it's a very good question. I think clearly a great deal of soul searching took place afterwards. A number of reports were written, including a very thoughtful one by the Secretariat itself into the collapse of the safe areas. And from the late 1990s onwards, when UN peacekeeping began to pick up again, uh, it became absolutely standard for every operation to have as part of its mandate the protection of civilians if they are facing a, a imminent danger. The real question, though, is whether the lessons have been properly internalized. And I'm afraid that the answer is that uh, we have made much the same mistake in terms of there being a big mismatch between willing the ends and willing the means. And I think this is very evident in places such as the Democratic Republic of Congo, where the UNR has a very large operation which has struggled with trying to protect civilians without adequate mandate, without adequate resources, very much reminiscent of the kind of challenges that it was facing in internal conflict in the former Yugoslavia. So it's a classic dilemma the international community is, is facing. It's easy to say that we will we will do something, we will protect civilians. The question is whether the means to do that are, are provided or not.